Welcome everyone, another unique game from the past for telepathic communication. This is a fun game and um, basically it's based on these simple cards. This is another British game. Uh, telepathy for fun, for laughter, for parties, for giggles. It's a race against time to pick your partner's vibes to pick up your partner's vibes by staring into their eyes. So, and of course, that's the technique here, and this is a way to get people uh, closer at a party, which I guess is kind of fun. Um, Game for Giggles is who um, this was uh, published in 1989 um, out of the UK. So these are around a bit. They're hard to find in the U.S., but you can. Um, these are around if you're interested. And we'll go into. Uh, let me get a little bit of. Closer look at the box here. Get in position. As I, let me see, did I show the back there clear enough? Let me go in there. And they published or make uh, made a lot of other little card games for party situations back in um, 1989. I don't believe they're still in business. Uh, just another historical thing here. Now you get a whole bunch of cards like this, and um, and they have six different things listed on. So they're endless. They're all the same. They all look like this on the other side. Uh, you get a scorecard. And here's the basic way to play it. I mean, you um, you take a card like this and place it between the sender and the receiver. And you're supposed to look into that person's eyes and try and gain the information from them. But you pick an actual uh, word on here to send to the person. And... Um, they have they look at the card as well so you pick one let's say passport and then you turn it around and say which one of these am i thinking about and you look into their eyes and again it's just a send and receive a particular word it gives you a one in six chance that person and of course you're supposed to do it telepathically of course you're not supposed to guess or anything else uh you're supposed to concentrate try and feel what that person is sending you and that's part of the send receive influence training that you want to get so it's as simple as that. Uh, I don't know how many many cards there are here. There's got to be at least uh, over a hundred, uh, and of course there are six on each card. Uh, so there's quite a bit of. Now this is something you could make yourself if you wanted to. So you could make something very similar to that. Uh, just write down uh, objects on a piece of paper, um, and then uh, put that in front. Because again, you want to make sure you have something in front of the person. The key here is to make sure you have a list they can guess from. You don't want to have somebody guess from all everything in the world. So you want to refine it of what exactly? Barry Manilow. <laughs> so the whole idea, but you, again, you're not guessing. You're trying to, well, what are you picking up? What is that person sending to you? It's as simple as that. Another fun game. And again, it's amazing what's made out there. Much more to come. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check any links down below. Uh, this may be available somewhere that we can tell you where to get it. Uh, uh, or you can get one of our many tools as well. Thanks for watching. More to come.